Did you know that vitamin D deficiency has an association with type 2 diabetes mellitus? Let's learn it now. According to International Diabetes Federation, 537 million of adults are living with diabetes, and now it's considered the most common metabolic non-communicable disease in the world. As type 2 diabetes rates continue to soar, there is an urgent need to find effective ways to tackle this disease. Vitamin D supplementation has emerged as a possible solution. Type 2 diabetes is typically diagnosed when high blood glucose levels are detected. This is ultimately caused by low insulin sensitivity in the tissues, which makes it hard for the body to take glucose out of the blood. To compensate for this lack of sensitivity, the body creates a larger amount of insulin until eventually the beta cells in the pancreas give up, and the affected individual cannot produce enough insulin to transport glucose into their cells, resulting in high blood sugar. It is often at this point that people receive the diagnosis of type 2 diabetes. Studies have shown that vitamin D seems to play a regulatory role in insulin secretion. The pancreatic beta cells process 1-alpha-hydroxylase and vitamin D receptors, which are important for bringing the effect of vitamin D on beta cell function. 1-alpha-hydroxylase converts 25-hydroxyvitamin D into 1-25-dihydroxyvitamin D, which is the active form of vitamin D. This active form of vitamin D interacts to the vitamin D receptor, retinoic X receptor complex, which binds to the vitamin D response element found in the human insulin gene promoter and activate the insulin gene to increase the synthesis of insulin. An additional effect of vitamin D on the pancreatic beta cell is the regulation of extracellular calcium concentration and flux through the beta cell. Insulin secretion is a calcium-dependent process. Vitamin D also regulates the function of calbindin, a cytosolic calcium binding protein found in pancreatic beta cells, which help insulin release. There are several ways in which vitamin D could affect insulin sensitivity. 1,25-dihydroxyvitamin D interacts to the vitamin D receptor, retinoic X receptor complex, which binds to the vitamin D response element found in the human insulin receptor gene promoter region and increase the total number of insulin receptors on the cell membrane. Vitamin D enhance insulin sensitivity by activating peroxisome proliferator activated receptor delta, which regulates the metabolism of fatty acids in skeletal muscle and adipose tissue. Apart from this, hypovitaminosis D also leads to an increase in the levels of parathyroid hormone, which has been associated with insulin resistance. Vitamin D insufficiency has been associated with increased fat infiltration in skeletal muscle, which contribute to a decreased insulin action. Hence, it's clear that vitamin D deficiency has a clear effect on insulin secretion from pancreatic beta cells and insulin resistance. There are several ongoing randomized trials to test the hypothesis that vitamin D supplementation lowers type 2 diabetes risk. If you have already taken vitamin D supplements for diabetes, mention your dose in the comments section. Thank you.